Maybe the dingo. Hey gang, back with another quick look video here for you. This is on another Nag Severn. Uh, this is a three single coil model. Uh, this is a tier one, uh, so it's it's you know the highest level you can get in Nags. Uh, like my my the other Severn that I have already done for you, that's a tier two. Uh, they're they're that they're similar. This one's just got a little more bling. Uh, so like I said on that one, some people may think it's a little over the top and not like it. Um, at first, I didn't like the really blingy ones, but uh, they've kind of grown on me. So starting up here at the top, uh, Severn headstock. It's got the ebony inset, um, you know, wood. Um, the headstock and the neck are bound in natural flame maple. Uh, it's got the abalone nags inlay and the morning star emblem up here at the tip. Uh, it's got gold goto vintage locking tuners, um, which I really dig. They um, they look like old, you know, clues on type tuners, but the internals are, are modern, so the ratio is real good. They hold tune great. Uh, and they lock on the top, and it's real simple. You just pull the string through and then start winding, and as you wind, it locks automatically. So I really dig that. Uh, it's got a graphite nut because it's a tremolo model. Uh, it's got a Coca Bolo fretboard. Um, the neck is actual, actually flame maple. It's got uh, medium jumbo stainless steel frets. It's got abalone diamond inlays. Uh, moving down, it's a set neck also. Moving down to the body, um, it's an alder body with a flame maple top. It's got the double perf around it that Joe does. Uh, it's got a, a knee gray wooden pick guard with abalone you know, inset around it. It's got the Chesapeake uh, tremolo system and Joe's um, you know, metal, uh, whatever you want to call that, uh, you know the plate. I guess you'd call it for, uh, I don't know exactly what he calls it. Uh, three single coils. These are David Allen True 62s, which um, if you go to David Allen website, they don't show up. I actually had to do a search for True 62s, and then I found the web page that way. Um, it says they're out of stock, so I don't know if they're just out of stock for now or if, you know, they maybe they got you know discontinued or something. I'm not sure. But uh, these were based on a uh, 1962 Strat that I guess that he had or had access to that uh, was considered to have really, really good tone. So he modeled those after that. Um, and upon his recommendation, I actually have them much lower um, than I normally have on, you know, the single coil guitars. I normally keep the middle lower than, you know, the bridge and the neck. Um, just because, one, I like that tone when you're in the in-between. Um you know, positions, but also it doesn't interfere, you know, with my guitar pick. So, but actually these are all, the bridge is probably the highest one, but it's only about a 16th, maybe, maybe 330 seconds, you know, out of the plate. Uh, the middle one's pretty much flush. And then the, uh, the neck, I would say is probably about a 16th, maybe just a hair under a 16th above the pick guard. So that's much lower than I would, than I would normally have those set, but like I said, David Allen um, recommended that, and he was right. They, you know, the tone was good before, but it improved, you know, once once I lowered those. So, uh, volume, tone, tone. Um, the far tone controls the bridge. Uh, the tone here controls the neck and the middle. It's a five-way switch, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, on uh, this tone, it's got a push pull that adds the uh, neck single coil. So if you're in position one or position two, you know, you can you can add that. Okay, so we'll do some tones for you. Um, starting off, um, uh, just the bridge single coil, uh, volume and tone all the way up. I'll do that same riff that I've been doing in all these videos. <laughs> okay, so position uh, two, uh, these two.
uh, middle position. <laughs> and uh, the neck on its own. Okay, we'll go down to, and we'll pull this so we've got the bridge in the neck. And this position is all three. So there you go. Um, you know, like like old nags, it's got multiple usable tones. It sounds good. Uh, I, th I think it looks great. Like I said earlier, you know, it's it's a little blingy, so some people might not like that. Um, I dig it. It's got a fantastic neck on it. Um, the craftsmanship, the build quality, as you would expect from Joe and his team at nags, especially on a tier one instrument. It's just impeccable. I mean, th there's not a flaw that I can find on this guitar. It's just built so, so nice. Um, so that's about it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.